All right, welcome to another Iconic Masters Draft. I'm by myself, no Mike B today. And uh, we're going to be picking a card here. I don't know what to pick, though. Supreme Verdict? Is Supreme Verdict good in this, uh, in this format? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Prodigal Pyromancer is a dude. That's definitely a gentleman. I like Mnemonic Wall. Even, I, think, I think I even like it enough to first pick it. The thing is, the, the instants and sorcerers in this format are just so good that it's like, yeah, okay, this is pretty good. Yoakum, I'm going to screen capture that and show it to him just so you know. For now, I'm going to take the Supreme Verdict because I think that's just very good. I don't know if this is a Supreme Verdict format, though. Right? Like, Pyromancer and Wall are, might just be better. I guess wall is probably the pick. This is weird passing a supreme verdict and then playing a wall, taking the wall. I'm gonna do it. I feel better about it. Ooh, oblivion stone and an amass the components. I don't know what to do. Post it in the Discord forum. Oh wait. No, I am gonna screen cap it right now. So. All right, cool. I I feel weird passing a Supreme Verdict than taking an Oblivion Stone. I'd rather just take the Amass. I don't know if the I don't even know if Oblivion Stone is worth anything. I don't think so. Nothing is worth anything in this set. Eh, it's worth like three tickets, which is not nothing. Like the packs are five, so you know. And then there's four on top of that, so this is like a nineteen ticket draft. Don't money draft, you don't. O stone is bonkers. All right, we'll take the O stone. Oh, we got a mass anyway. That's pretty good. Second pyromancer though. That's pretty scary. How much do I have to donate to have you not money draft? Don't make me put a price on it. I want to take a mass here, and it's. I don't think it's even that close. I like judgment here. I also like Blizzard Spectre. I also like Genesis Wave. I also like wall. There's a bunch of things I like in here. I think the question is whether Iona's Judgment is better than Blizzard Spectre. I think those are the two main picks. Hmm. It's wall? I actually don't think it's wall right now. I like Blizzard Spectre a lot. You guys like Gen Wave a lot, so maybe I just take the Genesis Wave for you guys. Maybe that's what I do. All right. I'm going to take the Genesis Wave because you guys want it. Well, Avast Games 51 wants it anyway. But I don't hate it, so. Oh my god, a third Pyromancer? But there's also no uh, blue cards in this pack, so... I guess that's fine. I'm going to take this Aerial Predation. Um, actually, we don't have to... Could be Guardian Idol, especially because we have Genesis Wave. Hmm. 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 I'm going to take the Guardian Idol. I think Aerial Predation is great in this format, though. Hero's Bane and a Hunt the Week. Those are pretty sweet. Yoakum with the 20 bones for the money draft prevention fund. All right, that's fair. I guess I can't money draft. Oh, God. Now I'm going to open a horizon canopy. I think we take Hero's Bane. I don't think this is a deck where we have a bunch of creatures, but I do want more permanence, especially when we have Genesis Wave. Repeal is good? I'll take a repeal. Yoakum, thank you so much, man. You are awesome. Repeal it is. I like a Celestia Sanctuary. That's an okay thing to take. And it's like the only card in this pack even worth. Why did you come back? Oh my god, what if all three of these Pyromancers come back? Uh, I'm going to take this Wall of Roots. Okay, good. They didn't. I'm going to take Moonglove Extract. Ooh, 
Ooh, greater basilisk. Yes, please. Don't be foiled, Tarmogolf. Actually, I completely support foils. Me too. I was, I was like, way to go, Pascal. Way to go. Eh, it just praise vengeance here. Frank, how do you stream? I need to know everything you know. Sam, if you really have questions, let's chat. We can uh, we can chat about it. Um, Lure can win us the game, but I don't know if it will. So, look at all these praise vengeances on our sideboard. Why is there blue in our green deck? This is weird. Oh my god, Sam, not having used the PC in 10 years. Woo! Yes, we get to we get to grab wave because all the cards that you put into play, their triggers don't go on the stack until Genesis Wave has resolved. Archangel of Thune? That's just game winning. That's better than any of these blue cards, and we can also splash them because we're green. Yeah, we're 100% taking Archangel of Thune. This card is bonkers. Paladin, Palladium, Paladin, Palladium Mirror. Hmm. Also, another Wall of Roots, but Palladium Mirror might just be better here. Oh, see, you say the one weakness of all Windows versions is dealing with drivers. I love drivers because every time there's a new version, I get really excited because I'm like, ooh, an update. Maybe there's going to be faster things or more efficient things. Or Every time I, hear, I see new drivers, I get excited because I always feel like it's an update and uh, it's going to improve my experience. I'm just going to take Palladium Mirror. We can probably get more, more walls. Topan Freeblade is very good. Wall over mirror? Come on, Sarah. Get, get your life together. Ooh, Mishra's bobble. I can't even take it because Yoakum said no. <gasps> Roshin Meander, though, with a Genesis wave. How do you do? Um, how often does it really improve my experience? I would say not, f I would say frequently the results are not tangible, but I also don't frequently come across situations where it doesn't improve my experience. So it's just a net, uh, it's just a wash. Like I'm never like, oh darn it, these drivers broke something. Like nine times, 99% of the time, my machine is pretty stable. I'm not sure what to attribute that to though, because I do, I do, uh, spend a good deal on good like good components so what up six monarch is roshin meander your your commander that's what i would imagine unless uh unless it's something something weird that is it just seeker of the way here stalwart Aven is stalwart Aven any good it could just be nantuko shaman i actually like nantuko shaman a lot I feel like this this blue is not great right now, but it also uh, it's good enough to splash if we get a splash. I think. Otherwise, I'm just gonna stick to green white here. I almost think aerial predation is good enough to play in the main deck. Yeah, I'm just gonna take sh um. Carbon carry added actually gives us. We already have one either Aven aerial predation. I got. I don't know. I don't know what this card is. Uh, in the sideboard. I just took a netcaster spider because I was too busy talking to you guys and thinking about my picks. So, you know, that's uh, that's how you do. I'm gonna take Duskdale Worm here. I like Pentark Ward a lot, but I think the Worm is a good choice, especially if we're ramping with Palladium Mirror and Wall of Roots and other rampy things 
Saratok is fine. Actually, Netcaster Spider is reasonable. I don't even hate that pick. I probably would have taken uh, Nantuka Shaman over it, but I think that's a fine, a fine pick if we're just getting uh, a random card. Star Compass over Survival Cash? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with Star Compass. It's a permanent. Comes into play with... Oh, Wall of Roots came back. Like you do. I like Pendark Ward a lot. I like it because it's basically like a condition chant for things like Claustrophobia. Also, giving it probe red or pro black and drawing a card is very good. And we can hit it off of Genesis Wave, so. I think Predation is better than Jotty Offshoot in this format. I think Pre. pre wow, Palladium Mirror. I think Aero Predation is actually one of the better cards in this format, to be quite honest. Nine times out of ten, the games I lose are two flyers, so. This is a very clean sideboard. We got like mono, black, blue, and look at all these Sultai cards in our sideboard. Clean it up a little bit. There you go. Oh, Saratok and Archangel of Thune? Yes, please. Spirit Monger. Again. This time we are going to take the Spirit Monger, and then we're just going to pick. Hope hopefully one of these comes back because either one is good for us. Preferably the Rose Chamber, but I'm not going to pass the Spirit Monger. And hopefully we can get some Search for Tomorrows or, you know, other things that help us cast things. Oh, Basilica's great. That helps us cast things. I'm actually hoping this Jungle Barrier comes back because we can... Actually, no, I'm not. We're not playing... Uh... We're not playing blue. I keep forgetting we're not playing blue. I guess if something comes back, I hope it's that because maybe we'll splash the blue cards. I don't know. This pack is not exciting, but I don't mind taking, like, Pristine Talisman or... So The problem is, like, Oblivion Stone is terrible with uh, Genesis Wave because this wants you to have a bunch of permanents, and this kills all the permanents. So it's... I'm going to put you in the sideboard for now. Ah, I do like Talisman with Archangel of Thune. That's actually very good. I don't like Garrison that much because... It's not really fixing our colors, and I'd rather have just another permanent. Hunt the Week is great, though. Um, I like Wing Shards, but I like the control I have over Hunt the Week, especially when we have some big creatures. So I'm going to go with that. Hmm. Mannequin? Guard Duty? Like, we already have Star Compass, Guardian Idol, and Double Wall of Roots. I'm going to take this Stalwart Aven. Seeker of the Way is fine. All right. This deck is not super exciting, but I don't think it's that bad either. If we can get an... I haven't seen an Ivy Elemental in, like, a couple drafts now, I think. I feel like putting Fate Counters on all our guys before we nuke the world uh, takes quite a bit of work. Hmm, this pack is not very good. Let's just take the River Wheel Aerialists, I guess. Another Ceratok. That's pretty good. I'll take another Ceratok. Also, Inspired... Inspiring Vantage, whatever that card is called. The one where you draw a counter for each creature with a plus one, plus one. That's pretty good. Another Ceratok? Good lord. I'm just going to take Baloth here. We don't have any six drops, and uh, it's actually not a bad one as far as I think nature's claim. I don't think we need another three drop. I don't think we need another seven drop either. I'm just going to bring this 
this guy in, I guess. Uh, guided strike is fine. So this is 15, 15 lands. Um, and this is actually, I think this is fine at, at 15 lands because we have Wall of Roots, Wall of Roots, Guardian Idol, Star, Compass, Palladium, Mirror, Palladium, Mirror, Pristine, Talisman. Which is way more than enough. I totally forgot to ask Sammy about the donation. Hopefully he joins us at some point and I can be like, hey buddy, how you doing? You got a little, got a little hangover? Eh, I'll take a Phantom Tiger. So what's the what's the ideal Genesis wave? Nine? Like uh nine or ten? Ten hits everything. Nine hits almost everything. I put the O stone in the sideboard because I feel like we're always gonna have more permanence than they do. Is second Stallworth Aven better than something like Lure? It might be better than Netcaster Spider, but the problem is Netcaster Spider blocks things like Sarah Angels and Archangel of Thune. So it's nice to have the mix. Oh, X should be the number of cards in your deck. Makes sense. I had not considered that. Touche. I don't think we have a way to search for any lands, but I would like to have one black for Spearmonger. So we're going to do that. 9, 10, 2, 3, 4... So we got four, five, six, seven, eight, six, eight. Oh, we have a red here too? Get out of here. So seven, eight, seven, so seven, eight, two. I think I like that. We want a lot of green, but we also have a lot of green. And we want double white, or we want white early for, for Seeker and Topin Freeblade. And we also want double white for Archangel of Thune, so I think this is actually pretty good. X. <laughs> we don't have a way to give haste, so we want X minus one, where X is the number of cards in our decal. I don't know what our decal is, but I, you know, I, I, I think I, I might know what you're getting at here. They should have put Crater Hoof in this set. <laughs> That's what we need. That's, I just need to lose against Crater Hoof Behemoth. All right, let's see how we go. Oh, our decal equals our library. That makes sense. It's all coming together now. This hand's actually pretty good. This hand lets us play everything. Except for Genesis Wave, sure, but... <laughs> Oh, Deckel is Jewish. Oh, the Deckel. I gotcha. Ugh. Why can't we play first? That's not fair. How many dragons will they have? Um, They'll probably have four. That's my guess. Wall it up. Uh, it's called Locks, Alan. <laughs> Unbelievable.
So I guess we go Stalwart Aven next turn, even though I really like gaining life. Yeah, we can go Aven and then go Hero's Bane, but God, we're missing out on so much life if we do that. We could also play old Roshi. Master Roshi. And then we're well prepared for the... Uh, the Genesis wave, except we, we need one more green. If we get another green, though, we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We get to Genesis wave for six. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just a country boy from rural southeast Michigan. I don't know how fancy works. I, I assume you meant words, but that's fine. Um, if they play black, I'm very reluctant to pump my Heroes Bane a good amount because, good lord, that's terrifying. And it's just overkill at some point. Like, I think an 8-8 is fine. I think it's remotely safe. Maybe. But. Okay, Wall of Roots. So we can go 1, 2, 3. Let's go Old Tally. I guess we go, do we go Aven here or do we go Heroes Bane? I don't usually have chips with it, but that day I had a salt craving. <laughs> so we can do a bunch of stuff this turn. We can go Talisman, Aven, Aven Wall, or just Hero's Bane. I don't know what to do. My confusion is real. I think it's probably just Hero's Bane. Oh god, why isn't some mana ability? <laughs> there we go. And next turn we can play these three cards. There's no point even blocking. Well, I'll just block. Oh, no, no point attacking. They just block with their their two five. Oh, that that guy, this old, this old chestnut. <laughs> this is my favorite thing about chat. Like you guys really went off the rails here. I love that my chat rarely has anything to do with the actual games. That's the best. this guy there's no way you just uh oh you're doing something wow that's rude oh they should have double blocked first because then I would have been like alright I'll pump it and then you could have wasted my entire turn old tally Old AV. Could have played Wall of Roots there too, but I don't like uh, going too low on this Wall of Roots. Maybe we'll draw the forest. Ha ha ha. We won't. It'll be a uh, Hero's Bane, just so you guys know. I'll block. Oh, really? What is this about? Interesting. Three cards in hand, huh? I'm really intrigued. What's up, Palatero man? 
Are you guys just chatting about fish and salmon this whole time? All right, I'm blocking. If you have guided strike, more power to you. All right, you didn't have it. Good to know, good to know. I'm going to tap my bird. Fish, salmon, and mirror. Okay. Well, I feel like two of those are the same. I don't know if you knew that. Can you guys hear that? It's really weird. It was happening the other day when me and Mike were streaming, and... Uh... <laughs> You have four mana up. There's no way I'm not... There's no way I'm playing a, a Hero's Bane into that mana. Wow, I'm so surprised you guys can hear that. This mic is, is excellent, dude. Um, Yeah, so whenever, whenever there's a lot of water being emptied into the, the pipes, like that, my, my toilet goes crazy. It just starts bubbling. It's really weird. So, like, when the water drains from the uh, the washing machine, it'll do that. It's real strange. Where is Genesis Wave? One time. That's not it. One time. One time. Need a vent elbow somewhere on that pipe. That's hilarious that someone in the chat actually knows enough about plumbing to tell me how to remedy that problem. That's funny to me. All right, we're going to go we're going to go this one. Biovisionary, would you say you Sarah see it? Ha 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 ha. Hi-oh. That's a little, a little username humor. Look at my hero's bane. It is huge. <laughs> didn't, didn't like that one, huh? Not a big fan of that one, huh? To be fair, they could have just made that up. I think you need to run off stop. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. You guys are amazing. See, I know literally nothing about plumbing, and that sounds real. Whoo. All right. Well, that'll do. Where am I? I got to put my phone somewhere. There you go. Genesis Wave. Stop tapping the things I love down. My goodness. Genesis Wave, Genesis Wave, Genesis Wave. Wave, 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 wave. Dang it. Dang it, Genesis Wave. Where's this bird going to go? Right on top of my library? You going to bounce him? I wonder where you have in hand right now. Wing shards? I actually know nothing about plumbing. Just seemed like good physics. Okay. Well, there you go.
I will not block because, come on, that's stupid. I don't have any creatures. I don't have any creatures with flying, let alone. Boop. Genesis wave. That's all I want every turn. I just want the Genesis wave. And hope you don't have a counter spell. I don't think that's a lot to ask. So you clearly have some kind of spell, right? Because otherwise you wouldn't have tapped my flyer. You would have tapped my 4-4. Four four. So you're going to go like... I don't know, two kind of spells? You got two kind of spells? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have more than enough mana without Roshin Meander to... Uh, All right, we're going to get in there. If you have a spell, you're going to kill this guy anyway, so I'd rather you just kill this guy and, and use the spell that way. Unless you have wing shards, I guess? I don't know, man. Do not sacrifice big R. Uh-oh, something's happening. Oh, you're just going to repeal that guy. Okay. What one mana spell could you have? You got Swords to Plowshares we just trade here? I don't I don't think you have that though. I'm gonna I wanna If you have swords, it's pretty good. Then we get to then you just get to wipe my Wipe me old field. Oh, no, you're just taking four. Okay. If you had swords, though, I would pump this guy to 16, then pump him again to 32, if that's if this is your target. And then I would just gain that sweet, sweet 32 life. All right. Kiln Fiend? What is even happening right now? What? Oh, you just had double Kiln Fiend in hand. Okay. Well, this is getting this is getting interesting. The dark blue names are hard to read in theater mode. That's funny that you mentioned that. We could have also went uh, tap these two last turn, tap two lands, this turn, tap two of these, tap the other two lands, and put it up to a 32, but it's not really relevant at this point. And I think being able to keep the, uh, the wall of roots around a little longer... Genesis Wave. It's not it. It's still not it. One, two. I will attack and hope you don't have a two mana spell in your hand. Oh, taking four. We're at 18. That seems pretty good. 24 cards, one of them is a Genesis Wave. What are the odds, guys? What are the odds of drawing that? It's got to be like 1 in 50, right?
one in 24 four percent not great oh boy here we go tap tap are we just dead oh god four eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen if they have one more spell we're actually just dead which is amazing <laughs> oh boy who saw that coming Oh, waiting to pay costs. Mana leak their own pillar. 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep, that's pretty good. Sometimes you just can't beat double kill and fiend when they have also a double blinding mage, I guess. We had double wall of roots, uh, which is, believe it or not, less impressive. Ideally, they uh, don't pay for it. Oh my god, they paid for it. <gasps> they paid for it the wrong way. Letting us block and live. Wow. That was nice. I don't know how we survive. Oh, they're not going to tap at all? <gasps> oh my god. This is amazing. Oh, they're attacking with the Blinding Mages. Oh, well, one of them, I guess. Oh, we're blocking. Block this guy. Block this guy. Take 7, 8, 9, 10. And we get to keep a Wall of Roots? Sure. Wow, this was... This was lucky. I did not think I was going to survive. That was amazing. Misclick from... <laughs> yeah, definitely seemed rough. So you have to tap this guy. Super new. Okay. All right. Now it makes sense. One, two, three, four. Pump this gentleman. You have to tap here. Yep, yep. Genesis wave finally. Huh? No. Okay. So we're at nine. I think we just attack again. You have to block here. And then you take four. Actually, you can block here, I guess. Tap here. You take one, two, three, four. <sighs> Tend to not even attack here. Like, we're still not out of the woods. If they draw any spell they can cast... Kiln Fiends are pretty scary, especially with Double Blinding Mage. They tap two blockers. I mean, we've got a Dragon Bow Monk off the board. You tap here. All our guys are tapped. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we're totally dead if you draw a spell.
Oh my god, can you guys hear that bubbling? It's so insane. I actually don't even know. The problem is if we don't attack, they tap two of our guys down anyway. And then they just attack. Like, if they draw a spell, are we even that much in that much better shape? They draw a spell. It could actually just bounce a guy, right? So they go bounce a guy, tap two of our blockers. We have one blocker for this guy. And then we take three, four, five... And then four, so we die. I think we gotta risk it for the biscuit here. And we just have to hope they don't draw a spell, I guess. I'm trying to think if there was a turn where like there's an ant on my desk. That is disconcerting. I'm trying to think if there's a turn that we just missed a point somewhere. Okay, I like that block. Because I get to keep Guardian Idol. <laughs> Bubbling is a sign of a leaky gas exchange valve. <laughs> Probably. These are wonderful. Well, we're not dead. We're in the... No, it doesn't concern me because we rent. Make the ant a pet. Won't be as disconcerting that, I guess. Alright, well, we're blocking one of these guys. And then taking... None. Okay. Genesis wave, please. Magic Online. We only have six lands left in the deck. Tapping this guy is real sad because then we get this like this blocks all day. Just something that's not a land. I don't love it. Well, at least we have an extra blocker now. We can't we can't just attack with these guys, put them to one, because then we lose Guardian Idol. There's just no point to that. Uh we're looking for a new place come January, unless I find a job somewhere. If you guys if you guys have any leads on cool jobs, let me know. I got some feelers out there, but boy, it takes a while for people to get back to you. Guard duty. All right, that's good. Not good, good, but not great. Still get, still get trample. I'm gonna give this guy pro white when we draw that pentarch ward. I would love to teach magic in college. I would love to teach magic at a at a university. That would be amazing to me. That's the world I want to live in. I'm going to assume you don't have Grizzly Spectacle in your deck. You're going to tap down my 64-64? Okay. One time. Something exciting. I don't hate that. Any creature is a good one, because they're at three. And all these guys end up being... University of Alabama has a class on the history of Batman. That sounds awesome. Just have him give me a shout. I got you. Nice. That's all I really wanted. I was like, man, Robert, can you vouch for me? But wait till you hear what my friend Robert has to say, guys. Huh? So I'd like to think we turned a corner here. In the sense that we're not immediately dead.
How big can this Hero's Bane get? How do they not put Fling in this set when you have Hero's Bane? That seems weird, right? What a what a misplay. Get it together, wizards. They'll never tap me down again. You tapped down my bird this time? That's intriguing. That's a big dude. So one, two, three, four, oh, six, one, two, yeah, we can just play another green. And cast this guy, and it still lets us keep up old uh Heroes Bane mana. Mike it Mike doesn't <laughs> I gotta know, is Mike moving out? Drama. <laughs> he doesn't even live here. No, that doesn't work. It's got a two five. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll sit behind you at interviews like in Step Brothers. Wow. Yeah, please do that. My back is like not great. And I have to go to the dentist tomorrow and get a crown put on. Well, they're going to put it's going to be a temporary crown and then they're going to put the real crown. Oh, 5% chance to draw Genesis Wave now? That's exciting. What is this you're doing? This is uncomfortably aggressive. Okay, okay. One down. You get to draw a card. Okay. <laughs> Malfesium 2002. Here's the story. I don't have to move. Oh, God, the Bewilder Mana Leak again? Oh, my God. At least they can't... They actually have to... Uh, if they pay for it, they can only tap one thing, which is fine. Because now at least we get to kill... A Kiln Fiend. We can also block with Saratok. Alright, so the story is... My lease is up in January... So I, I can't I can't block with Saratok, I guess. Um, my lease is up in January. And so I'm going to move and get a new place. However, I think we win this game. Block you. Block you. We have one blocker. We have a million dudes. Nobody has trample. They both die. Okay. Um, so we're looking for a new place because the management company for this house has been terrible. And, um, if I find a job like I, that I need to move for, then I'll move there. But as for now, like I'm just here. So I'm going to take a lure out and bring in one aerial predation. Do I have any way to deal with stupid, uh, God, blinding mage is so good in this format. I will I'll keep this hand. If we draw planes, my god, it's a good hand. My god. As for now, I'm just here. That's literally my life. I'm just kind of in limbo right now until I find where I'm gonna where I'm gonna be, you know. Like I just came to Florida because friends and family were here and like But I'm just waiting for like that next job, that next that next that next big big adventure so that was a good draw so next time we go topin free blade into guardian idol and sanctuary i'll hang with you dude what does that even mean we hang all the time oh man they have double mana leak in their deck though that's pretty scary that's exciting Let's play Guardian Idol here, because I think they do have Mana Leak. Oh, well, don't I feel dumb? 
Uh, so I was with TCG Player for like seven to eight years, and I was the community manager and editor of that site. I have been a content creator for equally as long. So, um, you could say I mostly do community editorial and content. I think it's just Wall of Roots, Topan, Freeblade. I don't think we need Celestia Sanctuary here yet. Next turn we can hunt the weak. Hopefully they don't have anything. And then we get to, uh, you know, do the thing. Oh, we could have also, actually, I'm so dumb. We could have actually played Wall of Roots, then played Topan off the Wall of Roots, and then played Sanctuary this turn. What's Turbine? What is that? What are you saying right now? Oh, I like this turn because... Reasons. Yeah, Pillar of Flame. Not... Do we attack? I think so. I'll trade. They have two cards in hand? Yeah, that's a, that's great. That's a good trade. Oh, they're not trading. That seems good. I'm okay with that. Pillar is a sorcery, so I was not concerned with Pillar. You guys know Pillar's a sorcery, right? Oh, rude. Rude. I'm going to look up Turbine, Yoakum, because that actually seems cool. Hmm. Apparently, they also do a, a Gotham City game. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's a Warner Brothers company. Huh. Are you attacking? I'll block. See what kind of nefarious tricks bewilder? Electrolyze. Well, that should have gone to the face, unfortunately. It's like Frank is Yeah, the Emperor's not wearing any clothes right now. All right, let's see what happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's not good enough. Birdman. No, that was actually great for us. They traded a guard. They traded a guard duty and electrolyze and a dragon bell monk for a topian free blade, and they drew a card. So it was basically a two for one for us. So that's fine. No, that was actually great for us. I was okay with it. Layoffs in twenty six is not great. Unfortunately, all of their positions are engineers. Senior big data engineer, uh, director of product, mobile software engineer, senior software engineer, systems administrator. Hypersonic Dragon. Well, now they can probably cast their, uh, their Pillar of Flame. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Is it worth it for five? I feel like we just wait. This guy. Uh, my education, I have a bachelor's degree in English. with a focus in, concentra in uh, creative writing. Not doing anything here. How many? 
Well, they do have sorceries that they can cast on us. They only have one card, though. So they have sorcery they can cast on us. If it's what that's in their hand. Did you not know I had a, an English degree? And why does that make sense? Uh, I've always wanted to write things other than gaming articles. Actually, what I really, what I've always wanted to do was write movies and TV. I actually have two uh, pilots for TV shows and a screenplay written. Um, but it's incredibly hard to do anything with those things. So... <laughs> Welcome to the I have a screenplay, but it's useless cup. Yeah, I actually took a, uh, a screenwriting class in college and uh, I wrote it in there with I, I wrote, you know, we had to submit part of our screenplay for the class and I got some pretty solid feedback on it. He was one of the pilots is a show called The Band and it's about uh, it's like an it was so it was it was an entourage style show before entourage was like garbage, right? And uh, it's just about a band and like they're the, the, the guys in the band and uh, like I, it felt like Entourage meets uh, Almost Famous. That was the, that was what I was kind of going for. Five mana leagues couldn't find one. All right. Well, I'm OK with it. Oh, uh, don't I took the donation bar down because it wasn't like it it didn't feel like it actually like I don't know. I felt like the clutter it caused wasn't worth the uh the benefit. Oh, uh, like this hand a lot. I uh, like it a lot. Makes sense. You make a show out of band. You're always starting bands with so many great names. <laughs> oh, man. Good stuff. I'm just going to play this here. And next turn we can go uh, Idle and Wall of Roots. I'm pretty sure you've been a mod for ages, Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Can I have my bird? They never let you have the bird. Which is sad, because the bird is actually the word. Oh, the bird resolved. Bird, 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 bird. Has everybody heard about the word? The bird? Have you heard about the word or the bird? How does that song go? Nobody knows. Doesn't matter. That guy's getting dissolved. Wah, 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 wah. The audio gain is low for me relative to Ollie. Good to know. Good to know. I will keep that in mind and try to fix that. This was a good draw. So we'll go wall of rootsies. Wall of rootsie tootsies. 
Your, your angel is weak. I have hunted it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana, so we're so close to that. Renown means whenever you deal damage with a creature for the first time, uh, it gets a counter. And it is then renowned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty sure we just attack with this guy. Play this guy and then Genesis Wave for nine next turn. And then we feel good about our life choices, I think. Yokes, thanks so much for saying so, buddy. All right, I like that you're tapped out here. One, two, three. Can I get a Roshin Meanderer? I mean, I can't because it's in the deck. Six. I'm not super excited about this because six is not a lot, but we got a lot of permanents in our deck. Oh my god, did we hit the mother load? Spirit Monger? Oh boy. That uh, was a spicy meatball. I'm just attacking to gain the life. Obviously, they're going to block with their 2 5, which is just fine. Wow. Well, that ain't going to do it. You ain't see this monger? Okie dokie. That's also a big dude. And I like that we have the black to regenerate him, too. Yes, please. Oof. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and we win that one. That was sweet. Welp. Aerial Predation comes in times two. Take off Pentark Ward. This doesn't seem like a deck where they're going to have a bunch of things that are going to hurt our, hurt, hurt, hurt our things. I'm not a big lure fan. I think that's actually good like that. What's going on? What lets you brag? What's what are we talking about here? I'll keep this hand. This hand's good. We did see one claustrophobia, that's true. So maybe I was wrong. I'm wrong a lot, you know. Wall of Rudy Tooties. Well, that's a good one. Yoakum, what are you sending invites out to? What's going on? One, two, three, four, five. I believe it's just Heroes Bane here because we can, and then we play Celestia Sanctuary. But who are you sending the invites out to? Is Kermit the Frog going to hang out with you in real life? Is that what's going on here? You've hung out with Kermit the Frog in real life? 
What? Oh, this is a lot of things. Oh boy, that's a thing too, though. So many things right now. One, two, three, four, five. You. I want you to show me the way. Guardian Idol. I guess we just pass here. Wow, that's rude. Come on, pristine talisman. This is actually pretty bad for us. This is why we brought in two aerial predations. Had I known you had double loose range, I probably would have just brought in three. So we're dead on board right now. That's pretty cool. I had to work for my win. Oh, where were you last turn? Oh, literally one turn away. And aerial prediction number three, come on in. got star compass actually we'll take out a palladium mirror how would people get here i would actually do that but then like i would i would have to be like hey guys you gotta provide your own transportation and then it's like well that doesn't seem nice that seems like i'm giving you a chore uh we'll keep Who is Backlight? Do I know Backlight? Is that Chris? I yeah, I thought I thought it was Chris. Um yeah, Alan the drive from your from you to me is probably not that far, dude. We could probably arrange a meetup some weekend, and that'd be pretty pretty sweet. So next time we go talisman. I like seeker better here. Especially because next turn we can go Talisman and Pump and we can go Moonglove Extract and Pump. Did they just... I wonder if they have six their turn. Well, they don't have Dissolve up, which is nice. Uh, some American states are small. I was driving through Texas on the way back to Florida and it literally took me the whole day to get through it. Texas is humongous, like actual humongous. Same thing with California. Both of those states are not reasonable size. Oh, our opponent is missing two land drops. This is not ideal. Kermit to Frog, how dare you? How dare you? You think you know a guy? Yeah, I knew what you meant. Mm, shark fist, good point. As a Canadian, uh, I can understand why you would think the states are small because boy are they compared to Canada. Oof, they had to discard. Brown, oof. So this guy. I hate that we're missing a trigger, but I think this is just better because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll have nine next turn, so we can do the old the old six arena if we get it.
Yeah, it takes it takes illusions to donate GG probably like 15, 20 minutes to get over that bridge. I feel bad for him. He got 99 problems, but a bridge is probably all 99 of them, to be honest. There's no way they activate, right? Absolutely no way. Yeah, I didn't think didn't think so. Even if they have like Supreme Verdict, I, we just go Genesis Wave for ten, which is pretty insane. Oof, Supreme Verdict? No, okay, I think that's gonna be the end. Because we are going to seven right here. Get him. Could whiff. We could whiff. We have a lot of permanents, but we also bought in, brought in some air. All of them. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, we gotta make sure we click on everything. Is there? How come there's no all button? I'm like gonna miss something. There we go. We did it. Okay. <laughs> that seems pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I'm not even going to Moon Glove Extract that thing because I don't care. Oh, I'm sorry. They do have it. Wow. All right. Sigh. That's amazing to me. I literally joke about them having it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, they're at six, they're at virtual four because of extract. And we have a Duskdale Worm. They don't have a second blue for claustrophobia. 90% of my viewers live down the street from me. Who else lives down the street? Alan, have a good night, buddy. Always a pleasure. I'll see you when you come visit me in, in however many weeks. I can't believe they have the Supreme Verdict. That's hilarious to me. Oh, the trample is real. Well, this deck's doing fairly well. I gotta be honest, I'm looking forward to some, uh, some Elder Scrolls Legends here, though. For those of you on YouTube that are watching this, I will be playing some Elder Scrolls Legends after this, but not relevant to you per se, because that will be, it'll be over by the time you're watching, so. I kind of love the, the community that this Discord chat has fostered, because there's so many people chatting in the subscriber Discord channel, and like... <laughs> They actually, like, you guys know each other in the chat now, which is so fantastic. It's probably the coolest thing I've I've done in my magic career, I think. It's like that I made this meme. Um, I don't hate this hand. It's not, it's not great, but I don't, I don't hate it. So if you guys are subbed, make sure you join our Discord channel. You just have to connect your Twitch account and your Discord account. And that should be it, I think. I don't know. I didn't have to personally join it, so. I have at least half a dozen real life friends there. Nice. Oh, that's so awesome. Magic is cool sometimes.
Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. That's a good one. Oh, get a load of those lands. Search for tomorrow. You're going to get another life? Spirit monger next turn. Oh, they played an island. That's actually double island. Oh, that's a little scary. Oh, less scary now that they've tapped all their blues. Unless they're going to... Oh, they're just going to repeal my guy. Look at our bombs. Look at our handful of bomberinos. Do it again. So if we draw a white, we can play Archangel of Thune. That's pretty good. If we draw... I would love to draw an Orzhov Basilica. Because then we can just play this, play Orzhov Basilica. Then we can play this. And keep up with the black to regenerate. It has felt pretty good to play the Genesis Wave the turns I was able to. But seeing their lands up... I do have a an unnatural fear of things. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Robert, are you talking about the black-white list? Because every black-white deck I've played in Modern has been just amazing for me. And I think it's probably one of my favorite archetypes that is just completely under, under the radar. All right, they have two cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we have one more land, uh, we can pump and play this guy. We also don't have a third green, so we can't, like... You don't have enough mana to... to repeal right now. I'm going to say blue. Let's draw a land here. Pro blue seems good, uh, especially if this guy gets trample. That's pretty good. <laughs> Modern Wednesday series, amazing. Um. Hmm. So, I have no reason to play anything else here with this guy having pro blue. So, I'll just deal you eight. Next time we can give trample and pump if we draw green. We also have eight mana, so if we draw talisman, we can play Archangel of Thune, then play talisman, then activate talisman. Put counters on all of our things. Here comes old, here comes old sentinels. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight mana. What does that do? 
What's the best play here? Probably Archangel of Thune, but I really don't want to get it countered if your last card is a Dissolve. But I think we can risk it for Le Biscuit. Plus you take 16 here if you don't block. Yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, you know your last card's dissolve. I absolutely just know it. It has to be, right? But if it is, like, I think we're still in good shape. Oh, it was not. Okay, well, that is a thing. Oh, boy. Saratok into all these guys getting trample, and that will do it. We have to show Spirit Monger there. Mono walls, huh? Praise one praise vengeance might actually be good just because I can get through. Take out Star Compass, or actually take out the Palladium Mirror again for one Praise Vengeance. I don't hate Oblivion Stone because it just kills all their guys, but it's just going to kill ours too, so. I'd rather just play more guys. Are you guys trying to figure out if you guys knew anybody? Are you, you knew each other before? That would be super funny if you guys knew each other. All right, I'm going to keep this hand. Roberto with the five. I'm going to raise this. There we go. Just because I enjoy having a place to hang out and chat that happens to include you streaming magic, maybe I'll give you a few more nation, more do, do, donations too. It it said do nations over here in the... Uh, so I have this up and it says do nations. And I'm like, do nation? Oh, it's just split up there without a hyphen. I got it. So, I just wanted to make sure you guys knew that I could read, even though I, you know, just, you know, I have an English degree. I can read. I don't have to prove anything to you. You're not my dad. What up, Zill Valley? Wall of Rudy Tooties. Oh, what a little cute egg. What a cute little egg, baby. I mean, annoying, but, you know, cute nonetheless. Oh, it's a defender, too. How defensive. That's that's annoying. This one's annoying. Mm, nothing our heroes Bane can't handle. Oh, again, not a, not a mana ability, so... Also, yeah, if you guys haven't done so, please refer to follow or subscribe. Both those things help me out a ton. And um, if you do subscribe, make sure to head on over to Discord and connect your Discord and Twitch accounts. And you get access to the subscriber Discord channel, which has been super fun. So, yeah, do that. Do it. Lure. The problem is we have nothing to do right now.
I always text in complete sentences and I end all my sentences with punctuation, yes. A Discord, that's which chord. I'm not a fan of what my options are here. I don't even think I attack because then they just block with egg. But then we got Netcaster Spider, so maybe we attack? If they have... One, two, three, four... They actually can't repeal. So never mind. They can Heat Ray, though. Yeah, we go to Pump, they Heat Ray. Yep. Not buying it. I will wait till you tap out for something and then I will pump. Oh, we're going to play the waiting game, I see. I don't like it. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five. Just don't have a counter spell. And they always do. Condescent? Oh, Heat Ray. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's not great, but whatever. Oh, uh, we didn't pump end of turn because they put them on Heat Ray. Because if we pump end of turn, then they get to Heat Ray our guy. And they had Heat Ray. And they get back Heat Ray. This is going to be a good turn because we can Pentark Ward and Hunt the Weak here. So, yeah. That's pretty good. We give Pro Red so the Dragon Egg can't block. Pro red, so I don't have to worry about heat ray. I mean, even, we do have regenerate, but uh, maybe it should it, maybe it should have been blue, but I don't know. All creatures able to block him must. That's pretty insane, right? <laughs> That's, yeah, let's do that. All right. I am worried about repeal. Like, that seems like it's going to be unfun. Definitely killing Jungle Barrier here. I do feel like if they had repeal, they might have repealed instead of playing wall last turn, because that seems like a better a better use. Oh, they said sadness. Although they might have said that last turn. Yeah, they said that last turn. That was even before they blocked, so. Also, Saratok gives a spirit monger trample. But they can probably just kill Saratok. Okay. That's also fine. Can someone donate for me to a stipulation draft? Like, first pack auto pick. Oh my god. Why are you people like this? 
Okay. So they don't have Ceratoc mana right now, which is good. Or they don't have uh They don't have uh Heat Ray. Heat Ray mana. One, two, three, four. Give me them give me that trample. Spearmonger's getting bigger. I don't know if you guys know that. He's uh He's the champion of the people right now. I'm just gonna play Guardian Idol because there's no way I'm not keeping regenerate mana open. I don't think I'll need it. But it's just not happening. They also have a Shimmering Grotto, which could be used to splash like a Doom Blade. That wouldn't work. Grizzly Spectacle, that wouldn't work. Yeah, maybe it's not necessary, but. This guy can't block, so if they go one, two, three, four to kill Saratok, they only have three mana left over, and we have an 8 8 that they can't block. That seems good. Why are you people like this? You mean giving you money? Yeah, yeah, I do. Why are you people like this? Why are you giving... No one's giving me money yet. Yoakum did earlier, but that was just to prevent me from taking the good rares. I have removal paranoia, but I'm also trying to figure out what I need to play around, so... My removal paranoia was justified when I literally called them on having uh, Heat Ray, and then they had Heat Ray, so... Oh. Are they going to Heat Ray for two, and then... Moon Glove Extraction? Or did they... Oh, maybe they miscounted. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. Okay. And then Heat Ray for one. Oh, two for one? Oh, yeah. Still two for one. All right. That seems fine. Saratok has left. They can't block this guy anyway, so the trample doesn't really matter right here. Archangel of Thune? The Genesis Wave? That guy's pretty good. Pro Red seems pretty good. <laughs> I am okay with it. What are we going to do? Greater Basilisk? One, two. Three, four, five. I vote green, red, but willing to go blue because Frank loves teamer for, or willing to go teamer because Frank loves blue for some reason. Savage good games. Good games. Oh, that's how you win an Iconic Masters draft, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, if you guys haven't done so, please feel free to smash those like and subscribe buttons, and uh, I'll see you next time.